Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is day 524 on my journey to 2000 where I play a game of chess every day and I put it on YouTube for folks to watch and I track my progress on chess.com. Currently rated 1421 after a win yesterday. Um, and today will be a silent game where I will not be talking through my moves, uh, mainly because I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat and I don't want to run the risk of... Uh, coughing and and actually every once in a while i like to see if not narrating my moves actually um, allows me to focus a little bit more and see if i can um, have a better chance of, of winning but uh, on the brighter side had a really good weekend uh, my daughter and i went camping with uh, a bunch of her friends and and the dads of her friends and um yeah, it's just a good time to get outside and, and disconnect a little bit. So, um, hope everyone out there is doing well. Let's see what I'm playing today. <sighs> ah, yes. Rock Matilla B2009.
All right, good game, Rock Matila B2009. Let's check out the analysis here. Bummer, that one uh, definitely got away from me. Played with 82% accuracy though, um, four mistakes, zero blunders. So my opponent played really well with only two mistakes. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty good game. Uh, let's go through here, the Grand Prix. Really enjoyed the Grand Prix and um, had a pretty textbook opening here for the Grand Prix. With this mistake, I didn't play the best move. So with this, uh, I was considering getting McQueen here to prevent castling Queen's side, which I don't know if that would have been a big deal, uh, but then also to start forming the attack in case they fianchetto and castle King's side. I could have this. I could have this, and then with the queen here on h4, that would be um, a good attack. Um, the other thing I was thinking about was maybe queen f2 here, so that if I sack, uh, sack, they take, and then I can come up with a check, and then can cause some havoc on um, back rank sort of stuff uh, let's see is this the best move it's a good move not the best one the best move would have been here and then in the event that the queen comes down to take the pawn then I could take here um, and the queen really doesn't have a, a move 
other, you know, they could take this, but then it just kind of, they spend their time taking a bunch of pawns and I just spend a lot of time narrowing in on this, on this king here. So if they do castle queen side, or let's say they attack my bishop, um, be a good move. They might even see this opportunity to try and get in more escape squares. So maybe here, but yeah. Probably this, and then I just re come up here, attacking this pawn twice. And the queen is just kind of lost because a lot of these pieces are protected. And eventually... I think eventually I could capture the queen. Let's see if they continue this way. They push, they take. And then I come in here and attack the queen that way and fork. So a lot of a lot of good counterplay here if they were to take my pawn, which I was worried about moving this bishop. King retreats to the corner, take, take, good moves. Uh, queen retreats back. Best move is to not exchange the queens here. They come in with a mistake, and I do not play the best move here. Best move here would have been probably just to take this pawn. Oh, that's a blunder. Oh, duh, and I saw that. That's why I didn't do that move. All right, so what is the best move here? I did the rook move that put pressure on the queen. Getting the bishop up and out. Because if they push here, then I can then attack the queen. Queen retreats either of these two squares. Let's say queen c4, and then I've got this. Um, well, no, let's see. They're saying knight d5. But I could, also, I could also take here. Because if takes, takes, then I've got... Oh, they're still going back to knight d5. Knight d5 is a brilliant move because if they take, I take back. I get the pass pawn. And if they come over, let's say if they take this, and I take here, they take back, and then I've got that. Okay. So take, I take. If they take, it's a mistake, I got this check. And with the rooks in the middle, and the queen here, that's super deadly. If they take here, take back and they take let's say they don't take let's say 97 to prepare for castling and I can just push the pawn or well pushing the pawn doesn't maintain my advantage because then they take and I think I still just take here if they take if they take on e5 then i take the knight getting the king off the center then i can push check yeah so that sequence of events just gets my rooks connected in the middle on these two files here which is pretty helpful queen retreats back Bishop comes out finally. Uh, great move by s taking that. And then the, the rook to d6 was a mistake. Yeah, bishop to d6 would prevent the castling. Queen comes down. I don't exchange. They take. 
I take back with the bishop, which I probably should have taken back with the pawn. And then at this point, the game is even. So probably just releasing a lot of the tension that I had built up over the course of the game resulted in the game getting even. Opponent started offering draws, which I, you know, didn't want to draw. Um, I wanted to play this one now. My opponent had a slightly lower rating than I did, so I can see why they might have gone for the draw. And this exchange here is where I... So this, I thought, okay, having those two protect each other is good, um, but I didn't see the knight going back. But the best move here... A better move be to just retreat the bishop, prevent the pawn from pushing, get the open file back. Yeah, and then I even up the material, but then after this takes it's um, I lose uh, the majority or I lose the the advantage when I go rook b1. A better move would have been rook b7 to attack this pawn. They could defend with check, but then I could take. Ah, uh, yeah. Why didn't I? I hadn't even seen that earlier. This and then Black's move would have been Yeah, I don't know. Push this, then I take check, they move, and then I take the other one. Although that's a mistake. Because check they go here, they go to this, and then I'd have to, well, then I can come over here, check here. And I think then they just push this pawn all the way. Go back, they check, they position, and take the pawn, which was a mistake. It allowed them to take my pawn. And then from here, they've got the bishop there on the diagonal, and it's uh, game over. So. There you have it, folks. Day 524. Until next time.